God come and hear amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the Sunday school teachers. They teach them the right way and the right thing. Amen. I want you to know something. Amen. They will know the Word of God. Amen. It means something to know what Jesus said. And they say amen tonight. Thank God. Lord, I feel the Word of God. I feel the Word of God. Many things has come upon me, but thank God, uh, Jesus said, I'll make a way where there seemeth to be no way, uh, and the way's already made, and you say, Lord, I feel the word of God, uh, thank God that shows about, uh, and we begin to praise Him. shall be upon him and the weakness of the wicked shall be upon him Amen Honey, if I was to title this message tonight I would tell it the wages of sin is dead but the gift of God is eternal life Amen Sin will take you farther and you want to go get a deep in home and you want to stay and it will cost you far more than what you can pay Amen. Amen. Sin is fair. 
show with this sign. Amen. I want you to know something tonight. Amen. The soul that sinners they shall die. Amen. I want you to know something now. Amen. We know the flesh is going to die. Amen. But that soul of man, honey, it's going to live on some more but that sin. Honey, we'll bring death. Amen, but the Bible said, listen, but if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he has committed and keep all of my statutes and do that, which is awful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. And your upon shall delight that we are a child of God and we've been born again. And when death comes to this old body, we're just going to lay down and we're going to go to sleep. And this same man, but after a while, we're going to wake up. Hallelujah. And there's coming a waking up. Honey, the trumpet's going to sound. Oh, yeah! Man, God. I told my wife today, I said we see so many people that we know that are age. They're passing out of this world. Hey, man, there's a lot of people. They act like they're going to stay here forever. Honey, but I want you to know something. Everyone that listens to day culture today, run into that monster that's called death. And we was yesterday. And that death angel, honey, will visit your home. And you will visit mine. But again, let me say, honey, it don't matter how we go. If we've got everything fixed between you and Jesus. If you got your sins on the blood of the Lord, yeah, man, thank God, amen, it's not hard, honey, to live for Jesus, a lot of people say it's too hard, honey, I'll tell you what makes it hard, it's times you don't want to, amen, you got to do something else, honey, we're in this world, but we're not on the world. And we're just passing through. I'm not in the old cut of all old cut time. Honey, I'm glad I've got my sins. I'm the blood of the Lamb. I'm glad I hear the voice of God. Amen, said my son. But my sins is forgiven thee. Yeah.
being hard-hearted. When you add to a shed of tear, honey, there gotta be some softness in that heart. The deal cut back a tire. And God will not deal with you. Amen. If you bless with the Holy Ghost. And I've seen some people. Amen. They said in service had a service. And God will not deal with them. I worry about people like that. The only one that's letting you live tonight. And to a sinner, but my God, he's got a purpose for your life tonight. And he's waiting on you. Ready to come unto him. Oh my God, I'm going to preach it that her lips are devil. Us, and commit his iniquity and do it according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth shall he live all his righteousness that he has done shall not be mentioned in his trespasses that he has trespassed and in his sin that he has sinned and then shall he die you see if you live for God uh, 40 years uh, and you go back on God uh, he won't remember one good thing uh, and I'll use myself uh, I've been in this thing 47 years uh, the summer's around there uh, and I've worked for God uh, but if I was to go back on him uh, he wouldn't remember one good thing uh, honey that I've done uh, amen the same way uh, when you come to him, he don't remember your sins. Honey, cut it, he'll cut it on that tire. He will not go to heaven and buy her good works. And yes, whoo, hallelujah. No, we're not. And the pastor and the evangelist ain't no more important than you are. I want you to know that. Honey, a lot of people look so higher. I want you to know that Jesus gave his life for you the same way he gave it for me. And he told me that I am a caller where I am called. And everybody's not called to preach. Amen. But everybody's called to minister. Amen. I believe that tonight. Thank God everybody's not called to evangelize. Everybody's not called to pastor. Honey, but I want you to know Everybody's got a call in your life. Amen. You accept on. Honey, that God saved you for. That you can do. Well, girl, I feel like preaching out. I feel like talking out. Amen. Get out of the sin of his life. Amen. A lot of people said, well, I just sin a little here and a little while. Honey, you'll not make it. You've got to get out of the sin of his life. You've got to give up all sin, and cast all your cares upon him, because he said, I care for you, my friend, the same God, that said, I'll never leave you, and I'll never forsake you, he said, no, I go all the way, even to the end of the world, and my friend, who else, but he will go with you that far, amen, in the church, amen, you may have tomorrow you may not have one. Yeah, man. But it don't take nothing. Honey, to turn people. Honey, from the house of God. For serving God. Amen. You can look at the wrong way. Amen. And no one might not even be looking at you. Amen. But they say, oh, so and so was staring at me. Amen. Said, we was a case of start. Amen. Well, I don't care what people are gazing at me. Honey, I don't care. But I pray for people when they fall out or not. I don't care when they shout or not. Honey, I know what the word of God says. I know what the word of God is. And the Lord is coming on the That's why he said, and we 
out the flesh Deny herself And take up the false baby And follow her heel If man and with the road gets heavy I'll make a few move over Just a little bit He'll help you carry your load And they say that When you're going through the lonesome valley And you say nobody cares about you And you're not in that valley all along Yeah. 
and a curse. And pastor just got through reading to you. If a righteous man turn to iniquity, God remembers none of the righteous that he is. Just as well if a man in iniquity turns from his iniquity to righteousness, God remembers none of the iniquity that he ever done. This is what Paul told the Corinthian church. What happened to you? What in your heart, what happened in your spirit when you when you first repented? He said, Behold, this self same thing. Ye sorrow after a godly sort. You are sorry for choices that you made. What carefulness it wrought in you. Not only was you sorry for the choices you made, but you was careful about what you did that day for I gotta stop right there. What happened to the carefulness of the people of God? What happened to the carefulness of the people of God? It used to be we was careful because we knew hellfire was waiting on us if we didn't live for God. We knew that the judgment of hell and damnation was our home if we didn't do what God would have us to do. Some of us, I'm going to have to say it. Come on, Come on. Come on. We think just because so and so did this and did that, and they died. And we've got it so concrete in our heart that they made it. And we pattern our life. After those. Don't tell me they didn't make it, Brother Austin. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm just, I just don't do that. I don't put nobody in heaven. I don't put nobody in hell. Because if they're gone, they're gone. I ain't worried about those that are gone. I'm worried about you. Amen. They say, well, so and so did this, this, and this, and this before they died. And they had to make, if anybody made it, they made it. So as long as I live like they lived, I'll make it. As if God is going to judge us based off somebody else. Come on. Come on. I'm not preaching the light doctrine. 
But I will say that the Word of God said, to whom much is given, to whom much is required. Amen. Some of us have been given a whole lot. Don't, don't take what I'm saying. I, I feel it. I feel it. If you ain't baptized in Jesus' name and feel the Holy Ghost, I'm sorry. According to that Bible, you ain't going to heaven. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Oh, that's tough. You mean to tell me, see, we got a problem. You mean to tell me, if I'm not baptized in Jesus' name, and I don't have uh, received the gift of the Holy Ghost. I can't go to heaven. I'm not telling you the Bible. Yeah. Amen. And if you listen, if you make a choice to believe what's not in that Bible, you going. By yourself. Right. If I'm going to stand in judgment for what I give to you in the Spirit, Austin Burke ain't going to stand in judgment for lying to you. Yeah. And if, uh, if Pastor, if myself, if whoever preacher preaches behind this pulpit, if they love I don't watch the things that other people watch. If you were to come to me and say, did you see what so-and-so was wearing? I said, nah, I'm probably not going to notice that. The best way I know how to say it, I watch, I, I watch for the spirits of men yes, sir. and women. Yes, sir. I watch in what I've seen is there is no carefulness. I see us come to church. Please, I, I'm not being rude. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to help somebody. And you sit in church 
pushing around at everybody. And I see uh, they're preaching. People just talk amongst themselves like there's nothing important happening. I see them uh, here. Please hear me. I need everybody to hear me. I see them preoccupy themselves with little penial things while they're in the house of the Almighty God. And I ask myself, God, do they think they already made it? I ask myself, God, do they even care? service they come or don't come to that they're making a choice. <laughs> we have like nothing important going on. It's just pastor preaching again. Oh, it's just Austin being dramatic again. Trying to scare us again. Trying to hype us up again. No, every service. Here to and I see him with this cold. It's just cold. It's just cold. Nothing moves the mind. I, I, and not that you ain't got to get up and cut a rug, but your spirit isn't even touched. Your spirit isn't even moved. And I watch you service, but your service ain't got to thank you, God. What's going through their mind? God, what's going on in their life? God. What is it that I can do to help them? What is it that I can say to stir them? And I'll be honest with you, I've been vulnerable tonight. I search the mind of God. I seek His face. Wondering what it is that will shake you. Wondering what it is that will turn you. Wondering what it is that will speak the alarm clock to your slumbering and sleeping. And I'll be honest with you, I'm just a man. I'm just a 26-year-old young man. I can only do so much. What anointing I got, I don't have it all by any means. But with what anointing I got, with what studying I do, with what praying I do, with what fasting I do. There's days that even this young man, I'm being completely transparent. Rock wish. And I look and I say, God, there's nothing more I can do. <laughs> because it all comes down to you making a choice. It's like we don't even realize. Oh, please hear me, somebody. It's like we don't even realize we're on the verge of the rapture. It's like we don't even realize you could turn around and that Holy Ghost filled Jesus thing baptized wife could be gone. It's like you don't even realize that in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, everything in your life could change. It's like we don't even realize that in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, it will suddenly dawn on us that we've made our decision. If we're not careful. Here's the spirit. I think it's all right. I think it's okay. Whatever happened to that little hesitation of what if it's not? And if it's not, what's the repercussions? What's the punch? If it's not, and we go in a frenzy of the fit before men when men is the last thing you need to worry about it's almost
almost as if I, I say, God, do they think that when you call out the very spirit that they're in, the very attitude they're in, the very coldness that they're in, do they think they're going to talk you out of do they think they've got an explanation? I would hate to know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta preach this. I gotta preach it. I hate to know that I was so stubborn that I was so set in my ways. I hate to know that I was so that I, that I was so self-willed that I was so zealous and desirous and ambitious that I was just so convinced that I was right. Jesus. Did I completely become numb to anything or anybody that says I could possibly be wrong? Amen. I kept my eyes closed on purpose because I've been accused of order, calling people out. And God knows my heart. I never did. I'm not looking at nobody, not pointing anything worse. But I'm telling you, you want to stand in judgment one day. And what you are so sure about, you will find out on that day if you really were right. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands. Let me put it this way. It's more fearful to be held in his hand than to hold his hand. It's more fearful to fall into his hand than to be led by his hand. And I believe with your walk with God, there becomes a blessed assurance that you know you're going to make it to heaven. I believe that. But this is what I also believe. I believe there's this carefulness, this cautiousness in your daily life because you know that these streets aren't cold yet. Those doors ain't turned into gates of pearl yet. We're going to stand in judgment one day. Brother Austin, it's too hard. You're saying the same thing of which the children of Israel said when they said the way of the Lord is not equal. In other words, the way of the Lord is not fair. It's too hard. It's not right. I'm telling you, your soul is at stake. And God knows you better than you know yourself. And He's not going to ask you to do anything that you can't do. With every decision I make, my God convictions in this house. With every decision I make, God may have been done with carefulness. With every thought that I think, let it be done with carefulness. With every act that I perform, with every word I say, let it be done with carefulness. I'm telling somebody in the Holy Ghost tonight, the Holy Ghost is here and we need to pray. But I'm going to say one more thing. Your decisions would change if you knew the eternal ways and the eternal repercussions. We would change our attitude real quick like if we really knew that we could in 
wake up in the lake of fire. If you don't do this right. I want you to keep that in mind. But the Lord just brought something specific to my attention. There's several people in this house. You've been having phone conversations about people in this church. And God is letting me know tonight. God is not pleased with the words of your mouth. Right you may be, but wrong you so are. God is not the author of confusion and bringing accusations is performing the work of the accuser of the prayer. Austin, who's talked to you? Nobody. I'm just telling you purely what I feel. If you can even believe that I'm hearing from God right now, that's completely up to you. I'm not worried about anything other than your soul. Righteous Lot's soul was vexed by the communication of those that he set with in the gates of Sodom. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. I said, I watch you every service. And I'm not even convinced if you really want the victory. Because you do no effort. There's no effort. There's no push to try to get things right. To let God fix it. To let God work in it. You just expect it to come and hit you over the head one day and then you can shout and testify about it. That's not how your victory is going to come. And I will tell you this, if you make it to heaven, that's not how it's going to come. Are you saying work saves me, Austin? No, I'm not saying work saves you. But because you are saved, you are saved unto good works. Are you saying I'm saved by my works? No, I'm telling you that you are judged by your works. It up to here with this garbage that says works don't save me. No, they don't save you. But your works will judge you. Don't worry, nobody can judge me but God. Oh, the fearfulness that ought to grip your heart with the revelation that one day he will. And it won't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what the pastor says. It's going to be between you and God. Will God understand? I'm not fighting somebody right now. Will God understand, Brother Austin? Yes, and that ought to scare you even more because he understands more than what you do. There's got to be a fear of God in our heart. There's got to be a carefulness in our spirit. 
There's got to be an awareness. Every day I live is a choice. Every day I live is a choice. Every tick of the talk of the clock is a second, is a minute, is an hour, is a day that vanishes away that I'll never get back. repent of anything but a wasted time. This altar is open. Everybody in the building ought to be talking in the altar right now.
Come on!